Hi, it's Miss Jess. Um, I'm doing a video that's a little bit different tonight. Um, usually my videos are designed for preschoolers. Um, it's to teach them for my class. Tonight's video is at the request of some of my teacher friends. Um, some of you had requested a tutorial on how that I how to make a PVC table divider for your classrooms. Um, while talking with some of my friends, I was describing the process I was going through to try and um, buy a table divider for my preschool classroom. The problem is I need six of them. Um, and the some of the cheapest ones I found were like $130, $140. I'm a teacher. I can't afford $130, $140 times six um, for something that I may never use again, I hope. Um, and so I thought, well, let's get creative about this. How can we do this in a more cost-effective way? And uh, my son works at a whole hardware store, Kohl's Hardware. And I had him get me lengths of PVC pipe and I had him get me PVC pipe fittings. And um, I had him get me plastic sheeting um, that they use in construction. They also use it in home repair. They use it in gardening. Um, and it worked really well for what I wanted it to do. Um, the problem is, well, I'll show you the problem. So here is the end product and you can see it sits on these little feet and it sits perfect. I mean, it's nice and sturdy. Even if they bump it, it rocks a little. The problem is you can't see me. Okay. Um, and I want my kids to be separated and I want them to be safe and healthy, but I don't want them to not be able to see each other. Um, a lot of what's happening is not developmentally appropriate for three, four and five year olds. And it's a little heartbreaking. Um, and I want them to be able to see each other and to interact with each other. But I also want them to not have to wear their mask all the time. Um, I believe that masks should be worn. I believe that masks help in this situation. I also don't think masks are um, necessarily age appropriate for little guys because um, they'll do okay with it, but is it, you know, great for them? So whenever possible, I want them to be healthy and not have to have the mask on. So when we are at our long tables, I want to be able to separate them physically, but I still want them to be able to see each other and interact with each other and talk with each other. So um, I will walk you through the steps of how I did this, um, but understand that this opaque um, sheeting, plastic sheeting doesn't necessarily work for what I want to do. So what's going to happen? I ordered a clear vinyl shower curtain. It's 72 by 72. It will easily cut into six pieces. So one $10 shower curtain will make all six table dividers that I need. So when that comes, I will cut it into pieces and I will dismantle the plastic part of this and rewrap it. So, and my phone rings. Um, so here's how I did it. Um, my son got me PVC piping. Um, I got three quarter inch, okay? Um, I, I thought that that was sturdy enough, but not um, too thick, too bulky. Uh, I wanna be able to pick them up, sanitize them, put them to the side when they're not in use and put them back. So I didn't want them to be heavy. I didn't want them to be bulky. So three quarter inch PVC pipe. It comes in 10 foot lengths. So I just had my uh, son and my husband cut them into pieces. I cut them based on the sizing that I need. I cut them because my tables go this way, nice and long. Um, I want two of these dividers per table. Um, so I, the width length, these are 26 inches. Um, so I measured my 30 inch table and I didn't want them to be falling off of the table. I wanted a little bit of wiggle room because we're dealing with preschoolers. Um, so I went, I gave myself a one inch gap and then I wanted to adjust for the 
fitting for the PVC fitting. And so I took off four inches from the length of my table. So it was a 30 inch table, two on one side, two on the other, 26 inches. So I have two 26 inch lengths of three quarters PVC piping. You follow me so far? And the height, I tried to think of the size of my preschoolers and I want it to be, you know, above their heads, but not way above their heads. I don't want it to be towering above them because that's also going to make it less sturdy. Um, and so I went with 18 inch lengths for height. So my lengths are 18 inches. My width across is 26. So I have two of each of those. So two 26 to 18. And they just cut them with a bandsaw. Yeah, just or a reciprocal saw. Okay. Then I got two, I believe they're called elbows. Okay. Um, I got two elbows. So I take one of my longer pieces and I just simply put it on the end and put it on the other end. Make sure they're all nice and sturdy. Okay, then I take one of my short pieces, my height, and I screw that on, and I screw that one on, and I now have my basic uh, frame, and you can see that it would, you know, I'm tall, I'm, I'm 5'10", so if I'm 5'10", little guys are definitely going to be behind it, but it's not going to be way above them. Okay, um, so then the other pieces that I need, I got a four piece fitting, okay? And so I turned it, if I have my piece here, so that it goes on the bottom here. See how it's facing the other side, okay? And I put this one on. So it is, okay, so see it's facing the other direction, okay? And then what I did was I put the last length in that side, and see, this is so simple, right? Okay, so I now have two feet, two feet that it can sit on. And you can see if you bump it, I mean, it can even rock. It's pretty sturdy. It doesn't, it doesn't fall over real easy. I mean, even if they bump it. Okay. So then what I did was I measured my um, PVC distance. Okay. Made it slightly. I did it to the full distance. You can see I have it. It covers all the way. Cause I don't, I don't want to gap that, you know, they can be fussing with and everything. Um, and then I just, I'll move it here so you can see. I took it over. I overlapped it. Okay. And then I simply took packing tape or clear duct tape and went across the length of it. Then I put it on the bottom and I folded it up nice and snug, and I did the same thing at the bottom, okay? So it was not hard at all, and it was not expensive. Um, for six of them, I needed five 10-foot lengths of PVC pipe, and I needed um, two of the four-piece connectors and two of the elbows per uh, divider. So altogether I needed 12 of each. So it, it really was not expensive at all. Um, probably what I would have cost on one of them cost me less than that. So it was really a very, very uh, cheap and effective uh, way to create a room divider and uh, should help me to have my kids at table for meals and for uh, name writing and for art activities and they shouldn't have to wear their masks. So um, I hope this helps. I hope it gives you some great ideas to get creative. Um, and it, it's something that can be sprayed down and Cloroxed and, and can clean up very easily. So 
Hope this helps. Talk to you soon, friends. Bye.